Hello, welcome to another Earth Engine tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export Earth Engine maps as HTML and uh, images. In order to follow this tutorial, you need to install the uh, package. If you have not done this before, you can follow my previous tutorials on how to install the package. After that, you can either use Git to clone the repo or download as a zip file on your computer, then unzip uh, the file. So we're going to use the notebook examples under the notebook, uh, examples folder, notebooks, and number 21. So after that, you can open Jupyter Notebook on your computer. So all you need to do is just type Jupyter Notebook, hit enter, then it's open um, the folder on your browser. And let's navigate to the folder here, notebooks, number 21. So first of all, you need to import the libraries. Uh, we're going to use Earth Engine and the GE map. And after that, uh, make sure that you have the latest version. You can either uh, install the latest version using pip or conda, or you can just simply comment out and comment this line, control slash on your computer, and then execute this line. After that, restart the kernel. Okay, uh, since I already have the latest one, so I don't need to do that. And then we can just create an interactive map. Um, so this is the map we have right now. And uh, we only have the base map. So next we can add some data. If you already know what data you are um, you would like to add, um, you can write the source code like something in here. If you don't know, you can just explore in here. So click data. And for example, I'm interested in land cover. So we, all we need to do is just type land cover. Then you select from the drop down list here. Um, there are a bunch of data set you can search using any keywords. So for here, I'm going to use the USGS gap um, uh, 2011, um, the lane cover data. Oh, just click the import button. Then it's create a script in here. All you need to do is just execute. Um, then you should have the data right now here within Earth Engine. Okay, so this is one easy way that you can add data to Earth Engine. And the other way is you can, as I mentioned, you can write source code. So for example, I can add SRTM, uh, other lane cover, lane set, and also uh, visual collection, uh, basically uh, vector data. And then you can visualize. So these are all Earth Engine uh, syntax. Um, I can just simply just act you. Before I do that, I can show you here the layer, right? You, you will see the la data layers in here. This is the first layer. So once we execute, we, we should see more data layers, right? Coming up, add it to, the, to here. So now if you um, click the layer icon, you should have more data layers. You can turn those on and off if you like, right? And once we have the map, um, now this is a Jupyter notebook, but sometimes if you want to uh, publish the map, you want to put it on your website or some, some other locations, or you want to send to somebody else that don't have access to the notebook, then you might want to export it on uh, HTML so people can just open um, using their browser uh, to view the data layers. So how can we do that? Very simple. Just click this icon here um, and then select this one, uh, the camera icon. And once you hit this one, you should be able to see different options how you can export the map. So in this case, we are going to export uh, as HTML. So once you click this one, just hit select. Uh, and then from here, we can um, select the output location. By default, if we use the uh, the current folder where you are working on. So this is the folder in here. But you can navigate to any other location you want. So for example, I can navigate to my user folder, downloads, right? So in here, and then you can choose the name. Make sure that uh, the name ends uh, with HTML. And then all you need to do is just uh, hit select, okay? Um, for now in here, let me navigate to the folder just to show you what it looks like, okay? So in here, that is nothing. All you need to just hit OK, and then, then we can come back to here. So you have the map. All you need to do, double click. Now you have this uh, as an HTML. And from here, you can have all the layers, uh, just like in here. It's the same, but um, you have the HTML. That This one, you can just um, upload to your website or anywhere we can send to someone else without uh, access to Earth Engine or Jupyter Notebook, okay? You can do most of the things that um, traditionally you, um, if you want to, 
export. Okay, so these are all interactive, but keep that in mind. Um, Earth engine data layers, they have the um, expiration policy. So you usually expire one to two days. That means if you want to publish this to your website, you might need to update um, to basically run the code again and generate uh, HTML. Um, otherwise, it will expire. The data layers won't show up uh, after it expires. So this is the, the downside. But you can certainly write a Python script to automate the process to regenerate um, um, the HTML. I will show you later. So this is one way you can customize, you can export the data layers. The second way is that you might want to export um, the map as a, a JPEG or images that you might want to publish or you want to um, insert the images into some other documents. So how can you do that? Of course, you can just uh, take a screenshot, okay? But um, here, I'm going to show you an easier way that you can just do this. So let me maybe turn off the layer, um, just, for example, just like this. So how can we capture the um, this entire one? is an image so that you can insert to other documents. So first of all, make sure you maximize the window, okay? Because otherwise, when you use this one, it's going to capture the entire screen. Um, that's not good. So we just want the map only. So all you need to do is just uh, maximize the map, and then you can maximize whatever you want to uh, maximize. So uh, how about this? And then you click this one here, here again, um, the icon, and then you can change to P, uh, PNG or JPEG. Okay, so these are the two formats uh, supported. Then you just hit change. So from here, we can change to, uh, if you double click, um, you should re reset. Then we can go back to here, uh, download folder again, and then just hit change. So now we have this one as a JPEG. So all you need to do, just hit OK. And then you see it automatically minimize all the two bars. Then we can uh, exit uh, full screen again, come back to here. Now you should see this one here, the PNG here on your computer. And you will see that this is just the entire screen. Um, I can certainly just view and full screen, right? So it's much better resolution than doing uh, a screenshot if you don't maximize or if you don't use the full screen. So make sure you uh, use the full screen to take uh, photos, otherwise, let me show you in here. If you do this way, uh, if you're just doing this way, you can just export. Um, so for example, let me change to maybe JPEG uh, in here and this one and just hit OK. You come back to here. This might not be what you want because it's taking the full screen. Also, make sure that you move the, uh, the browser onto if you have dual monitors or multiple monitors make sure you move to the first one because by default, it is taking the screenshot of the first monitor. So if you have to no open your second monitor, you might not work as you expected. So make sure that um, you pay attention to this, okay? And so this is the interactive way. Uh, you can um, export the map as HTML and uh, PNG or JPEG, but you can also use that user function. So similarly in here, um, I, I can set the file pass and then use the function code to HTML, the other function code to image. So let me come back to here. Let me just delete these uh, files in here just to show you how we can do that. And first of all, you need to set the file pass. So in this case, I'm going to use, uh, download the file to the downloads folder. And the HTML file is named mymap.html. So basically, we import the library and we set the file pass. Then all you need to do is just to um, call the function code to HTML. And the output file is where you define uh, from here. And you can change the title. So the title is when the browser, for example, in this one here, you see 21. So this will be the title showing up on uh, the map. And you can set the width and height. So basically, when you have the map, um, the 100%, that means the map is going to uh, spend 100% width. And the height is the pixel. So the height um, basically is exporting from here. If you see from this map in here, this one is taking 100% of this uh, uh, map, uh, the frame in here. But the height is not 100%. The height is based on how uh, height, uh, the height of the, the browser. So this one, you need to set uh, uh, pixels. This one can also set as pixels or percentage. 
but for the height you can only set pixels okay so by default it's going to use 880 uh, pixels let's just execute and then come back to here so now you have the map right so if you see from here um, now you have the map you will see here 800 might be too small yeah uh, you, you go into the full screen you might you might need to increase the map and similarly in here you still have this control um, uh, available but you need to keep in mind the um, this customized uh, 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 two bars won't be available so only the standard one so these are the standard iPi leaflet uh, uh, two bars and, and icons this, these are the one that I added it's, it's not available after you export the map okay so just to keep it in mind it's not perfect it, I might support it in the future but for now this is um, what we can have okay and like I said, this you can change to pixels or you can change to, for example, 50%. And I can also change this one to maybe 500. I can do it again. And okay, also the My Maps, right? If you see here right now, the title here is called My Maps. I can also change this one, for example, to here, uh, GE Map, for example, okay? And then I just hit one and we can come back to here, double click again. Now this one, the title changes to GE Map. And you can see that right now the screen is only 50% uh, width and 500 pixels uh, uh, height. Okay, so this is you can easily customize depending on how big you want the map to be. Okay, so this is how to export the map as HTML. You can also export the map as JPEG or PNG, but um, this is not recommended because um, it's not full screen. So you won't have the best um, image. Uh, my recommendation is just to use here maximize and then you can take the screenshot but um if you want to customize you can certainly can so similarly in here i'm going to download the map as a png and then i'm going to run so this function is called to i uh to image again you can hit shift tap on your uh, keyboard to uh, see what options do you have right so the output and also the monitor because i'm here only using one monitor so it's monitor one but if you have multiple monitors you might need to change this one and then I'll just map doc to image and it's going to take a screenshot of the entire screen in here so if you come back to here now we have this one like I said this is not what you want yeah you want to use the button but um, the button actually called the function uh, because it's already maximized so uh, it will take a screenshot for the entire one similarly you can export as JPEG right so if you took this one and um, if, you, if I come back to here Right. So if I execute, because right now this uh, sale block is selected. So if I execute um, JPEG, right, you take this one. So it's um, not the best one. You can uh, crop the image to get um, just the map, but um, highly recommend that you maximize the map and uh, take the screenshot. Okay, so uh, that's all for this. Uh, video if you enjoy this tutorial please make sure you hit the like uh, button and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video take care bye bye